A very good afternoon and welcome back to the Touchline on Y254. My name is Maxwell Wasika. This time round, we want to review what is happening in Budapest Hungary as far as World Athletics Championship is concerned. So far, Kenya has collected three medals, one gold, a silver and a bronze. And the medal hunt continues as we look forward, you know, doing what we've done best before in terms of, you know, stamping our authority and supremacy as an athletics powerhouse globally. John Vaslin, an athletics consultant, is joining me. Good to see you, bro. How are you doing, man? Not bad. Good afternoon, man. It's been a you. minute, right? Yeah, it's long, man. Till the Kwapas G match. How have you been, man? Maka in a song and be your son. No bad, you come. But I'm not sure Mongo go high. Yeah, we thank God. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you make of, you know, uh, the Budapest show so far? Has it lived up to the billing? Uh, according to what we heard. <laughs> <laughs> We are good. We are totally good. I, uh, I know people might question uh, the, the caliber of athletes that we took to the championship, but championship is not like a diamond league. You know, diamond league are structured races. <laughs> this one is not a structured race. This one is a race you go there as the way you are, you know. This is a national. They are not picking the best. You know, diamond league, they are picking a crop of the best. You are the best among the best. This one is a crop of the best. So this is not as there's no structure here. It's all about tactics, all about how how synchronized you have been. And to me, we are living. Uh, we are living as per our billing. And I know we 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 will reap uh, the five gold medals that we we anticipate or our expectations were. And I, I, I'm still hanging on because now we have started. You know, Kenya starts the very last time and this is the very last time we just saw uh, uh, Kipiegon giving us the first gold so there are still four more medals gold medals that we are going to score i remember during tokyo olympics in japan yeah. we started off badly mm -hmm. just like you've said and mm -hmm. during the culmination of the championship we collected yeah. a few medals here and there mm -hmm. do you think the same will happen in hungary yeah, yeah, this yeah, time yeah. round yeah, yeah 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 the heat is is hitting everyone so there is no favorism. You know, these are good dress because everyone is being struck by the heat. And if you're not used to that, then you're going to get it the way it is. So that's why you're seeing there's a lot of uh, exhaustion here. And, and I really fear for Sifan Hassan, especially for the race that is coming. And she's going to face our finest, the three times, three times world record holder. That is Faith Kipiegon. And I know by the look of the race that happened yesterday, 5,000 meters, Faith went there to study this young lady, and although she is a little bit older than Faith, but now from 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 the studying, uh, Faith knows exactly what to do. And I know, uh, come uh, the finals, Faith will destroy Sifan terribly. And Faith has been making Kenyan proud on the international scene. Just a few months ago, she broke the records in both Three. 1500 meters and 5000 yes, meters and, and she's double olympic champion yeah. and she has already won 1500 meters mm. in budapest the performance continues yeah yeah yeah, yeah. She, 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 she is a history book faith is somebody that we people need now to, to study you need to study faith she has lived that long longevity is there we have seen and then again it is all about discipline you know she's a very disciplined young lady and she's not in any forces she's not a police officer she's not an ap or anything she's just one person who who is determined who is focused and purposed and i i, I think the management of the people running or controlling her they are really top-notch guys because she 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 she's coached by by one of the finest coaches, as you know, Patrick Sang, who coaches Eliud Kipchoge. And if we combine the two of them, I think now, as of now, I can tell you for free, Faith is better than Kip, uh, Eliud Kipchoge. You know, Faith has risen through the ranks. She's grown tremendously to where she is this particular point. I remember around 2016 at the Uhuru, Uhuru Gardens. Gardens. Yes, yeah, she was running barefoot. Exactly, Bana. She was very young. Very young, very, very young, naive. Innocent. Yes, yes. And yes, I yes. think she has remained the same person she's been before. She, Humility, simplicity. Yeah, very think, simple. Young just like lady. you indicated, discipline, discipline has characterized is, her yeah. way of life and professional yeah. involvement. And I think that has also contributed immensely to her performance her, at this her particular success. point. I think it, it's, 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 I, I think it's like a calling, you know, when you are called to do something and you love doing that thing. Yes. That's the same way you love doing your work. It's the same way I think Faith decided to say, this is my life, this is my everything. If you want food, if I want 
all that I ever wished for, it is here. And uh, she has remained purpose to that, and she has really fought through the ranks. She has remained consistent every now. She delivers wherever she goes. Faith is, I, I would like to compare faith with Ferguson. You know, Ferguson, although he never lived to Ferguson our building. Yes, yes, yes. But Ferguson has ever been there for Kenya. Every time, yes. This is the first championship that Ferguson has not been on the podium since she started racing. He might not win a gold medal, he, but I think he, he is never there. We will, we will get a bronze. Bracket. We will get a bronze. We will get a silver from Ferguson. He's somebody I love and I admire. But this time round, you know, I can't rule. We running is all about body. How you woke up, how fit you were. You know, this time it wasn't his. I will never complain about Ferguson. He has given us and he has done his best. The only person that I am surprised that although people uh, were questioning why Ferguson went instead of Kinyaman, you know, the rules were clear. Number one and two to cross the line, you qualify. Yeah, and then the third person is the defending. Why? Why should you? Kinyaman never made it to that bracket. So Athletic Senya took according to the rules and regulations or the structure that was put into place. He was the best at that particular moment. You see? Yeah. So, but the body, the body refused. Eliud went sometimes, you remember we were talking about the time he went for London and he was beaten by those Ethiopians. And then he started saying, you know, there was something in the ear and all that. You know, when the body refuses, it has refused. There's nothing. Running is all about how you woke up, the shape that you are in. It's not about something that you structure or like weightlifting or no. Running is the body and mind how it is. And that's what will carry you through. So faith has been consistent. And faith has really, she has done the best. Right now, if faith now decides, I don't want to run for Kenya. She has given us everything that we ever wanted or wished for. Actually, let me tell you one thing about faith. She's the most meddled Kenyan athlete. She's the most meddled African athlete. Go back, check all the medals that she has. Nobody beats faith. The stats are there to show. Yes, the statistics are there. Nobody can beat faith. She has given us all that she can. You are saying you love athletics because it's a fair sport. There is no, <coughs> you know, it's not changing. Yeah, it's there's not no like, match fixings. There's it's no not like in football where <laughs> you know I was in football. Team is winning and you're saying, you know, <laughs> yeah. match referee was biased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, I was in football. I actually, I was a deep state in football because I was the RCT manager at that particular time during Nyamoya's tenure. And I, and I remember the things that happened in football. Football yes. can be decided in a room. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but with running, you'll never decide in a room. you never, because you are put outside there. If you tell me you can run 10 kilometers in 10 minutes, I tell you, okay, hit the road. I hold the watch. And then I tell you, let's go. You'll be embarrassed by yourself. You have no one to blame. Ah, over no, your to blame. No, 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 no. It's a very totally fair game. And the people we took at that particular moment, they were the best in the country. Although there were those who were pulled out, especially for marathon, you remember, actually the team, you know, there was delay because they had taken a lot of uh, top uh, elite athletes. Uh, Paris was in the squad, the first, first uh, team, uh, the second fastest man in the world, uh, Kip Tum, was in the team. And then again, management had to come and pull him because, you know, what they are thinking with running, uh, it's, it's, it's the managers. And this is one thing that I really, I really miss, especially during... Uh, the late Isaiah Kiplagat. You know, Isaiah Kiplagat used to stamp authority. You know, he was authoritarian and he delivered in everything that Isaiah did. Look at our team. Our team is shaky because of the, the authority. I'm not saying that uh, General Tuwe is not doing, he's doing the best to his capacity. But what I'm saying is that uh, with Isaiah, there was authority. You could feel from the office to the people on, uh, uh, on the pitch. And uh, he, he, he didn't want to, to, to buy anything, especially for managers. But this time round, we are seeing managers, they have an influence even in the selection of the team. During Isaiah's skip like that, a manager could not step on the way of an athlete. An athlete, when he, the country comes, country comes first for an athlete. But this, these days we see uh, the managers, they have a higher stake in, in what they decide who will come and who will go. That's why you see we miss those two top athletes. We expected Paris to be there. We expected Elias Kiptum because the consistency he has. And I know Kiptum actually. Uh, take this one to the bank. Kiptum will break Eliud Kipchoge's record. If they are put together, two of them, Kipchum will still overthrow Eliud Kipchoge. Talk to us about Ferdinand Omanyala, African record holder and Commonwealth uh, 100 meters champion. He finished distance seventh. Uh, and contrary to expectations, you know, everyone was looking forward to. 
uh, excellent performance from him, but you know, just like you indicated, in athletics you wake up, things don't happen your way, in your yeah. favor as you expected, and he uh, attributed it to injury or something. What I will think happen? A slight mistake is costly in athletics. Just a slight mistake? A slight mistake. If, 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 if the button, especially where he was, <laughs> if, if the start, your start is poor, it will affect your finishing. Because we're dressing, especially for 100, it's divided into cat three categories. There's the starting, that is the, they, they call it, uh, uh, that is from uh, the zero to around 40. Then from 40, they, they will count from 40 to 60. Then they'll finish, now the finishing, which is that 20, you see. So most of those athletes, there are those who pick when they kick from the, from, uh, immediately from the, 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 the box. They kick, they are good at that. They'll go fast. But in between there, where we call it, uh, there's a name that they call it, I've just forgotten, between the 40 to 60, they again, they drag behind because they picked well, so they remain, they maintain their consistency at that or they remain that motion till they finish. But there are those people who pick poorly, like Omanyale. Omanyale is a good finisher. The 20, the 20 meters away, he's so good at that. So the start for Omanyale was poor. And he never actually picked again to the second uh, allotment, which was the 40 to 60. He never picked. The where he picked was 80 to 100, and it was too late for him. But one thing I'll tell you about Omanyala is that when you're in that bracket of finals, he was number seven in the world. There are thousands of 100-meter athletes, top elite athletes. Who didn't make was, it to the podium. Who would never even made it to the championship. But they were good. So Omanyala to be number seven already tasko to him. And at that level, you know, again, the, the negotiating table, we call it negotiating table. People come to negotiate the contract. Omanyala contract will never be the same with Adidas. Because he has been on the final podium where everyone in the world saw. If it is one billion people who are watching at that particular time, they saw who Fadi was. They saw what Fadi can deliver at that particular moment. So he was number seven in the world. And remember, he's still number one in the whole world this year. Although uh, no alliance matched that time, but he still recognized the fastest because he came with that first time of 985. There are two things I want to tell you about Omanyala. And these are the, he has to make now, where Omanyala is now, he, he is in that category of top elite athletes. And with 100 meters, you know, your lifespan is only, like Omanyala is now 26. Yes. He has two years at that prime level. If God allows three years at that level, 29, 30, you are dipping down. Now, right now, he's dipping up. He's actually, he's ascending to the top. He has to make the decision. One, either he has to do away with his coach, who is a great friend of mine. I'm sorry to say this. But at this level, you know, you That's cannot. Aimba. That is Aimba. You cannot do these things. Aimba, either he has to quit his job, his uh, full-time job to concentrate on Manyala. Now Manyala again has to go back to Adidas and tell him, listen, this man is working, but I want him to be a full-time coach on me. So they have to compensate what he's getting here so that they put it on the salary of him. But again, Aimba, again, as the coach, he has to see the long-term benefits. Will it be worthwhile? Because if we say yes with five years, and the job is going to take him the next 10 years, he has again to, to play around and fight. So it is upon him. The second thing is Omanela has to change his training ground. Omanela has now to go to, the, to good facilities. Omanyala needs now facilities. In Kenya, we don't have facilities that can sustain Omanyala. You look when Omanyala, especially during that, uh, the, the, the season, they call it the, there's a name, uh, there's a name they call it the time when the races are off. In between that is September to March. Yes. You know, that's the time they are mostly not, there are no active racing. Uh, the track races have closed. So that time they are building up, training and all that. You see, Omanyala most of the time he goes to South Africa. And then when he comes back, again it's about the latitude and altitude. When he comes back to this high, uh, low altitude, he performs better. You have seen all this time that Omanyala has given us, the fastest, especially this year, 985. He went to South Africa after two competitions. He went to Zimbabwe, then he came back. He gave us 985. He has to change the location. Three, Omanyala has to change his manager. A lot of things. That is the South African guy. He's not, he's not bargaining. He's not good at bargaining on the table. He's not giving Omanyala those top 
uh, top, those top races that we want because he's overusing Omanyala. The same thing that is happening to Ebenyo. That's why I miss the later Isaac Kiplagat. Because the, man, the managers are in business and their business is to make money out of an athlete. You'll find Ebenyo in one month, Ebenyo has run four races. That one, Ebenyo has run 10, 21, 10, 21. There is no resting, there is no, the body is not recovering well. And this guy is still young. So the consuming of the body uh, elements or the body, uh, what, what do we call, is, 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 he is gaining but he's losing at the same time. So there is no time that the body is gaining, you know, gaining back and getting back to where it's supposed to be because of the structure of the management. And that's why Obenyo, he has only two years. If he doesn't change the management, Obenyo will just go. And he's a top talent that we have in this country. Let me tell you. Now, back to uh, Omanyala. Omanyala has to make that decision. Those are the three strict things that Omanyala has to make. If he wants to be at that top level where Noah Nile sees, look at Noah. How many races did he run this year? If there were most, there were five races. Look at Nani, uh, Fred Carly. Fred Carly ran six races this year. Look at Omanyala. Omanyala almost ran 18 races this year. There's no time to recover. You are wasting a lot pleasing the management. It's high time he makes that decision. So he must be lying between a rock and a hard place making those changes because it will be hard for him, you know, considering his bromance and friendship with coach Ayimba, trying to change and ensuring that now new management is at the helm of his professional career if he has to achieve the expected results. Because he has been tipped as the most solid and formidable athlete geared towards achievement of much at the big stage. You know, you remember Michael Johnson, he tweeted some time back a few weeks ago. Actually twice, yeah. Twice, saying yeah. that, you know, Omanyala is a man with huge ambition, is a prolific athlete, mm. and he has a very excellent future. But I think some of the experts need to look at his body physique to ensure that, you know, it works to his advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as, as a key athletic stakeholder, what are your submissions into that? No, he, 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 he has seen the potential that is in this young man. And the potential is so huge. The only thing is that he, he, he never became the first Africa to medal. Uh, let's see the Tebogo became the first African to medal in a world championship in 100 meters. And Tebogo spoke... Uh, highly of, highly of him. Yeah, he respects him because he sees he, 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 he sees this one is a champion because he has beaten him in all races. He has beaten him in every race. This is the first race that, uh, that uh, Tebego has beaten him. And watch that young man. He's going to surprise Noah Lyles in 200 final. He will surprise him. He's a man with huge potential. And the consistency that he has, nobody has that at this moment. He's in his top shape of his lifetime and he's only 19 years old. John, yes. where else are we expecting medal bracket finish? In what races? Because he, off the curve, before we got on air, you were saying that, you know, Kenya is doing very well, despite, you know, the criticism on social media, especially Twitter, you know, with a lot of followers of athletics saying that we haven't performed to our expectation like you've done before. You, you hold a contrary view saying that, you know, Kenya is on the right trajectory in terms of performance. Where else are we looking forward to collecting our medals? In we, what places? We, we are good. You contrast between, put a contrast between Jamaica and Kenya. Who are performing <laughs> poorly this time round? <laughs> Jamaica is doing so bad. Uh, Jamaica is nowhere. Yes, yes, <laughs> you that see, is very right. And that's a powerhouse. You know, this is a transition. With, with running, it's all about transition. And you remember there's a time I was in this desk and we were discussing about uh, this young man called Zakayo. Yes. And we were comparing Zakayo with Barega. Barega right now is a premium athlete. Any race that he goes, the appearance fee for Barega is between 7 million to 13 million in between there. If Zakayo goes to any race right now, it's a favor they are doing to him. And this is a man who beat Barrega here in Kenya because of what? Money confused the young During people. During Kipkeino Classic? Yes. 
not even keep Kenya World well, under 17 well, champion under 18 yeah, championship. Yeah. Yes. World well, under 18. He was a person we saw the future into it. But we failed. As a federation, as a country, we failed to nurture those young kids. Because that those kids because will I be now at the that's champions. Where that, Mary Mora that, that's Emanuel where Mary Mora came from. Mary Mora came from there. And we were expecting him also to pick. We remember the young brother to Manangoi, George Manangoi. Yes. He was among those. We saw the future in this. But you see what? When money comes in, it confuses this young man. Zakai was in school from three. He had three wives. There's a time I'm in, uh, what is it called? Masikonde Primary School in Narok. I'm just coming. It is Muteramuko. Getting into town. I see a car passing my car. Foop. Then I'm like, which car is this with music? A lot of music. So I just followed it to town. So I went. They went back to the hotel. So I also went there because I wanted to go for a short call. Who came out? Zakayo. Then I, and then, now the surprise, the shock on me. There were around six women in that car coming on. Then I was wondering, where were these women sitting? So I called Zakayo. There and there. I didn't spare him. I told him, Zakayo, what is not happening? Is this the life you want? Because he had money. Money came into him. But nobody was there to guide these young people. That once you are a star, immediately there is contract signing fee. So you are only a millionaire. By just penning down a two-year contract, signing fee, you get between three to five million. And these are young kids. Even those money, maybe they never went to their accounts. They went to somebody's account because at that particular time, you don't have an account yeah, with true. you. So you see, so money confused this young nanny, but we don't have that. There's no structure. You see, I, I, I laughed yesterday when Athletics Kenya say that they are spared uh, 64 million to now to, to try and build a team for, 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 for the hurdles. We never used to have uh, those money the previous years that uh, the Kemboys were running, Shaheens were running. We never heard that. But people were running. William, William was running. They were doing great wonders. We never had money. We, we, they, there was a system that was there. There was a transition that was there. We are lacking that transition. We, don't, we have a development officer. I'm sorry to say that. But where are we developing to? Because we expected this Kinamora, the whole group of Kinamora, to be in this race, but we never saw them. So back to the question, we have a goal with Mora, because at the moment I think Moon is a confused young lady. Yes. Yeah, because one, she changed the coach, and then two, she changed where she used to train. Then three, she even went to a company that specializes in NFL players, instead of concentrating with a company that deals with runners or running. So those are the things. And then one funny thing about changing coach towards a championship like this, that's why there were ish-ish of coming to the championship with the coach. It it's called a uh, Milan. It affects because this coach is going to change the entire training oh. structure. He's starting from zero. And when somebody starts from zero, it's try and error. And you're prone to injuries. And we, maybe she got an injury that we have not been told. But back to our girl, we have a goal at the moment from Mora. We have a goal from Faith Kipiegon. We saw the rest, uh, and there was a preview that has just uh, uh, happened here when we were with you. Uh, Mora has started Sifan, so we know she's going to destroy Sifan. Faith. Faith, yes, Faith. Faith Kipiegon has started Mora because you saw, we usually call them rabbits, the Ethiopian way. They used to do that to Kenyans. Yes. You lift your leg, they put their leg there. Immediately follow you, yeah. Parasite, they call it a coupe. When you lift your leg, they put their leg there. They are actually running you, you are pacing them to that. For them, they are conserving the energy. Faith used the same tactics. She has used Sifan's energy. She knows Sifan's. She has seen the power that Sifan, the extent that Sifan can go. And I'm telling you, she's going to destroy her this night. Then we have Marathon, ah, yeah. Ross Mercoros. She's a 218 lady. Marathon. This is a 218 lady. Yes. I'm talking about her personal best is 218. Yes. She's going to give us a medal. In men, we have Ethiopians. So in men, it's ish ish. How they will wake up that day, but the weather favors everyone. Because this is the not under the normal, because they are running under 32 degrees. Yeah. So maybe they run under 30 if they will start early enough. So the weather will not favor anyone. We will be at equal.
Talk to us about our transitioning strategy because in the past a few years ago, we were a powerhouse in several races. 3,000 meters steep leaches, we had Ezekiel Kemboi consensus as Kipro. 800 meters, we had uh, David Rudisha, who is still a world record holder in the same race. 800 meters, women, we had Pamela Jelimo. Uh, and who was this being called Eldoret Express? She's the one. Uh, Pamela Jelimo, Unisum, yeah. Unisum uh, at some point took over. Mm. And, uh, you know, Javelin, even we had Julius Yegu, we have dominated a lot of, you know, disciplines in athletics. But nowadays, like Barry Silla, my uh, guest who was on the show when we started the program, was saying that, you know, nowadays we no longer have powerhouse. We haven't stamped our authority because our opponents have learned our tactics. Do you tend to agree? Not really. <laughs> I, I, I'll just go back to transition. Yes. You know, when I, when, when, when I came myself into athletics uh, eight years ago, uh, that's the time I came into, I never ran. Yes. I just had the passion and I started through management. I started managing athletes. I, I, I was a manager, a recognized license by World Athletics. Kufanya mtiani 850,000 Kenyan shillings. So wow, it's not easy. Man. So for you to be licensed or to be a manager or to be an agent, that's how you have to go. And uh, the passion that I had, so I came into it. And when I came into athletics, I found those times Ezekiel Kemboa, the people who are talking, the big names, Kina yes. Rudisha, and yes. they did not allow us, the newcomers, especially for us who came and wanted to interact with them or just write a story about him. Yes. They never recognized us. But look here, I said during the world under 18, I say, I'll grow with these young girls. Let me work with them because this is the future. Yeah. I'll be making a call, they'll be picking. But Ezekiel never picked my call. Rudisha never picked my call. But these young girls, I have their data with me. I make a call, they pick, we talk, we share. That is the transition I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. The structures, we don't have structures with Athletics Kenya at the moment. I'm sorry to say this. Who's to blame? The AK itself? The office, Athletics Kenya is to blame. There's no one else. They are the custodians of athletes in this country. True. Yeah. If a young athlete who you want to train a javelin, and then even Diego himself, he has no equipment to train. He has to go to South Africa for him to train at that level, do you think we'll have another Yego? No, we'll never have another Yego. It will never happen maybe in this recent AK time. AK will say that, you know, it's the prerogative responsibility of the government to ensure that no. facilities are in place, well-equipped ones, no, no, meeting no, no, standards no, no, of no, world no, athletics. No, 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 no. Athletics Kenya is, is well-financed with money. To they undertake that particular to obligation. To undertake that particular obligation. And Athletics Kenya signs each year a contract with Nike. Why don't they include those things that we don't have in those contracts? And Nike are willing to do that for Athletics Kenya. It's just that they are in the comfort lane. Let it rain in that house so that they can feel. I wish we could even lose the remaining goals. That was my wish. So that that house, people could not have peace in that house. Structure sometimes you are forced to do things by circumstances. Exactly. Because That's people true. have really relaxed. There is no investment and there is money at, in, at, at Athletics Kenya. There is enough money to run us. Because if, you know, it's the only federation that never, never asks the government for anything. Exactly. Yeah, hey, they can host 3,000 people in big hotel, 5,000, they pay 7,000. They don't care because money is there. So what is wrong? with investment, investing into an athlete. Now, because the parliament discussed about steeplechases, how we are failing, now they are thinking of giving 64 million for the steeplechases. Where are we going to train those steeplechases? Look at Nyao Stadium. It's not a stadium yes. per standard. Yes. World Athletics came, we were by bidding for 2025 to host the World yes. Championship. We were denied the whole championship because we don't have a facility to host a championship. So we don't have anything. The government and athletics, and I wish Athletics Kenya could take a proposal to Nike or World Athletics and tell them, listen here, we need five billion to make a stadium for just pure running. Those people are capable of doing that. So until we invest, there is nothing we are going to do. It will be an individual race. So you are beating uh, complacency of Athletics Kenya to, you know, the few medals we collect here and there in championships and smooth facilitation by the government and you want 
peculiar things to happen so that you know the, they can put the house in order and the, restore the, sanity the government needs to do more you know recently uh, i think two days ago they personalized an attack on ababu namamba on the issue of of uh, these tops the the trucks that the they kids. were put the kids they were putting in and then you find a whole senator actually deputy speaker uh, uh, Gladys Bocholet talking about Adidas, fake Adidas, and she's in the house, they are talking without a replica of the fake Adidas. <laughs> How will we know what you're talking is factual? You know, one thing you need to, to, to understand with these contracts, I've been in athletics, I, I have a know-how for how these contracts goes. Kenya is kitted by Nike. The moment any athlete will put on a fake night, that is a, you will be sued because it is an intellectual property you are using. There is no faking. They could have looked for something else, but not with tracks. So if a government can put, come with such a thing to discuss on a national TV, then where are we heading to? Mine was for the government at that particular time to fight for those athletes that are at the world championship. Exactly. That athlete that is there is being paid 120000 as allowance. For the whole duration that you have been training with Team Kenya, traveling and coming back, 100 and 120. If you don't win a medal to get that one million government money, which also takes time because I know even likely, if I'm not wrong, Omanyala and Faith, their money has not been put into their kitty. If I'm not wrong, because I had information they was not. If that can take that long, the government need to put structures. They need to invest in stadiums. They need to leave all these shows that they are telling us. They went to Kipchoge, you know, they painted with the seats where they are sitting. That is bullshit. We need structures. We need new tartans to be in there. We need new uh, uh, hurdles to come into place. We need new clocks on the face. We don't want paintings. You come, you tell us you have invested 500 million. What is that? That is trash. There is nothing that 500 million can make. There is no stadium that 500 million can make unless it is an iron sheet stadium. The government has to be serious in investing into a stadium. We need just one stadium. A good stadium will cost between 5 billion to 15 billion. John, uh, as we wind up the program, let's talk about what happened a few weeks ago. The good CS for Health, Susan Nagomita, she's doing extremely well. She was in Eldoret, launching and presiding over the establishment of Cambry Research Center. And this is a facility that will also go a long way in ensuring that, you know, doping, which has been a monster, in athletics, not only locally, but affecting even international athletes. Russia yeah, is a good still, example. Yeah. I don't know, what do you make of this particular move? To some extent, will doping get tamed through such initiatives? If, if I was to be asked, yes, uh, I will say that we could, Kenya could suspend itself from international championship just for one year to put our house in order. Because right now, this one is a, a war. Kenya, the, the international, or the, 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 the international now, the body that, that uh, deals with athletics, and the people who have been given the powers to run or to monitor the clean sport, that is Athletics Integrity Unit I'm talking about, and World Athletics. Those are the two entities I'm talking about. They have declared total war on Kenya. They are exposing our roads, but this exposure, we are not being given that opportunity, an opportunity even to have our say. You know, one of the rules of world athletics is when I'm coming to this person, to take a urine sample to this person, and I am the DCO or DO, the doping officer. I have been sent by the local federation or the AIU. Then in the process of me reaching to this person, it happens that I communicated to this person. That one is already, it has influenced the report about this individual. Now, our athletes are weak because they don't have muscles to go and fight the AIU, because this court is far away from the country of Kenya. To get a lawyer, to hire a lawyer to go and detain you in this court, one of the resources mingi sana. 
So what I, what I mean is this. If we don't suspend ourselves to put our house in order, we might end up losing more than what we have right now. Because this year, for us to get into category, out of category A, where we are, was no athlete should be found to have doped. But so far this year, we have three athletes who have been found to have doped this year alone. So you see, it is going to take... And then, let me tell you one funny thing. As we wind up. As we wind up. How sure are we these systems that have been put into place? Because recently, a week ago, Kumari Taki won a case. And I'm talking about that process because Kumari Taki even is suing Mary Nyokabi Kairu for saying that he took the urinary sample in Iten. But the administrative athletics management system called ADAMS, Kumari Taki had indicated into that system that I, Kumari Taki, I am a triple C apartment in Nyahururu. So you have to disclose your whereabouts and... Every now, if I to be, I am an active athlete, yes. and right now I'm going to my shags in Bungoma, I have to update. The moment I get into North Rift or I'm driving to that area, I have to indicate that I've changed location from tomorrow. I'll be found in Bungoma. Because these people can come like thieves. They come like thieves. They never tell you they are coming. Two, there's an athlete that was almost kicked out of the camp. I will not mention his name right now. Yes. But this athlete... He was taking the screenshot of the system I'm talking about, Adams. Because every time he was keying in, I'm in Nairobi. The system does not pick. That so is John. He was, he was trying to take the screenshot to defend himself. When Ada went to that athlete, they went to give him a about later. But he told them, no, listen, let us try when we are here. Then we see how it is. They tried. It failed. Wow. A lot of, you know, uh, facts regarding... Matters doping, which has been affecting athletics, not only locally, but even beyond. John Vaslin, athletic consultant, joining us this particular afternoon to share his insights regarding state of the sport and whatever is happening in Budapest, Hungary, as far as our athletics championship. He's very optimistic that, you know, Kenya will continue with medal hunt in the remaining races, marathon uh, being the key. And so far, we've collected three medals, one gold, a silver, and a bronze. Faith keep going, leading the hunt for Kenya in the World Athletics Championship. And it's been a fantastic program happening this particular afternoon. One, two, three, every Saturday we do this. We talk about sports happening local and beyond Kenya. Uh, leading, you know, the scene and as we speak, Kenya Premier League kicks off this particular weekend. Four matches on card. So if you are at home and you look like you're bored, you can catch a local action. And uh, even English Premier League also continues. Manchester United got beaten last weekend by Tottenham. This particular weekend they play against Bournemouth. Probably things will change or they will continue with the bad showing. Continue talking to us. Hashtag touchline Y254 to Asike Maxwell. John, it's a pleasure having you on board. Thank you for coming through, thank bro. Thank you, bro. Anytime. And thank you for your fantastic, you know, insights on matters athletics. Thank you are you. such a, a giant, bro. Oh, I try. <laughs> All right. Don't go away. Stay tuned and enjoy the rest of our programming to everyone who contributed to the success of this particular program. We say a big thank you and, you know, let's, let's stay tuned and God bless. Have a nice weekend.